All right, guys, it is that time. Yeah, we're going to put a beautiful piece of meat on here soon. And my famous smoked meatloaf. I'll bring you back in a bit, guys. I'm going to give you a peek. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, look at that. Yum. Did you see that? Look at that. All right. Meatloaf's next in a couple hours. Okay, we're going to do a quick video on how I make my meatloaf, smoked meatloaf. Real quick, here we go. We got one pound of hamburger, one pound of hot Italian sausage, we're going to two eggs, mix that up. Okay, I've already got in here measured one cup of um, bread, breadcrumbs, done breadcrumbs, Parme half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Work that in. All right, I've got um, one whole, it's frozen, it's defrosted now, one whole uh, sweet bell pepper. One whole onion that was frozen. This is what I did this year. Mix them up. Now throw in a couple of scoops of garlic. All right, guys. I also did. I put salt and pepper in here to taste how what if you want. Here is jalapeno that I kind of make mush, and I'll just put it in here. We do not like a lot of jalapeno. And now we'll just mix this up. Babe, you got a hot one on the hook. Okay, the final part of all this is basically, this is what we end up with. We have honey, our barbecue sauce, 50-50 of each goes into here. And I mix it really good. Already mixed up, now we're gonna move over here. My assistant's gonna move the camera over here. And this is parchment paper. And now we're just going to make it a flat piece of meat. And you're going to roll this up. You want to kind of make it a you know show shoe box type look. All right, now we're gonna take the barbecue sauce that we just made up. Get your trusty paintbrush. Time to spread this on the whole thing. You can put on as much as you want. 
I just try to cover it. Good enough for now. Now we're going to take the paper and we're going to roll it, make a roll so it's the meatloaf again. There you go. Now what I'm going to do is going to push it the ends in a little bit because I know it is too big for what I've got, what I the grate I sit it on. But now what we got to do is let this thing rest. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, and then we'll take it out and then we're going to put it on the grill. Got the second round of coals going, getting them warmed up. Sneak peek of that. And the prize meat's coming up really soon. All right, this is what I use. I have a grate. I have a, a tin pan underneath to ke catch the drippings. This has been in the uh, refrigerator for about an hour. It's been sitting out now for about 20 minutes. Now we're going to take it. We're going to put it on top of this. Now what I like to do is make it the, the seam where we rolled it, I like to have that on the bottom. Because if you don't, you're cooking it, it actually wants to unroll. So, we're going to try to pick this all up. I reshape it, make sure it, it does fit my pan that I have. There we go. Now we need to put this on the grill. Alright, here's the meatloaf it's going on right now and we're looking probably two and a half hours to three hours I have a temp about 250 give or take and there we go she's done now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna let it cook for about an hour and then that same barbecue sauce you see me coat the inside of it will start pasting it on the outside and every hour I'll start doing some more of the same pasting okay Let's take a sneak peek. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's going to make a good sandwich. Look at those ribs. That's for tonight's dinner. That's for my sandwich collaboration. Plus, tomorrow night's dinner. One hour in, and we're going to start saucing them down. Looking good, as always. Look at that. Nice, beautiful coating. Let's zoom you in. Oh, oh that's going to make a good sandwich. Looking good, guys. Gonna sauce everything up. She's doing the ribs. She used the apple juice when she flips them around. And then I am going to hit mine again. It's another hour. Put some more. Wow. Mm. I don't know what looks better. Is I know I just seen those that you couldn't see well, but either the ribs look good. Now we like a dry rub. We won't put barbecue sauce on it at all. Ours is all dry, but we will have it on the counter if we want to use it as a dip. And then you got my meatloaf. There you go. Alright guys, we just checked the temperature. I think that was supposed to be 165 or 170. We're there. And the other one's that one there. 
so we're both good we are going to pull our stuff off the uh, grill right now and then we're going to wrap it tent it for about a half an hour and then we'll be digging into that and that's tomorrow and my sandwich okay here we are this is my starting of my sandwich um, what I do is I have mustard and mayonnaise I mix it together in here and there we go I have I will add a little garlic to it I have got my potato bread I've got my meatloaf meatloaf we cooked yesterday on a smoker actually the meatloaf tonight will be for dinner but I am gonna make a sandwich out of it now Oop. And let's get you a closer look. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and cut back in this area. I'm not going to make real thick pieces. Maybe, say, a half inch. There's one. There's, oop, no, oh, there's two, there is it right here, this is, this has been sitting in the freezer, or refrigerator, overnight, uh oh, there's a piece there, mmm, that's good, alright, the next thing is, we're going to take our meatloaf that we have, and I'm going to put it in this skillet, and I'm going to throw some butter in there, and then we're just going to heat up the meat just a little bit. Just going to put a little bit of butter. Not much. Because one big reason is I will be grilled cheesing these. So let's let that cook up a little bit. You can see it, the way it's rolled. How the, when you put it together. Remember, this meatloaf has no ketchup in it. It is strictly barbecue sauce and honey. And I use Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Mix it together, and that's what we've got. You can see the crust, the uh, nice caramel corn edges to it. They're beautiful. It's so good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put these on. Let them cook up for just a couple minutes. Let them get warm. Let's bring you back here. All right, now. Let's get out my bread. Like I said, this is potato bread. Love it. Excellent. And what I'm going to do is... Um, Be able to get that off the fork, not waste it, huh? We're going to put some of this on the bread. Yeah, you see my lick my fingers, Mom. And my wife, Angie. Here we go. Alright, now what I will do is I'm going to put the two breads together for a minute. Actually, no I'm not. I forgot I was going to do this. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of garlic on, on the bread. Put them together. I need to move this meat around for a minute. For right this second, I'm pulling that off the fire. All right, now we're going to butter this up a little bit. Did I say a little? I kind of meant a little bit more. Right there. And then we will do the other side the same way.
There we go. So now we've got both sides of this bread ready to be cooked. All right, we're going to take the meat off right now. Let's turn this back on again. Um, now, this is what's next. I'm going to put the bread on here. Go ahead and grab some cheese. Now, this is what I do. I'm going to put my meat on here. Now I put some more cheese on it. Looking good. Put that like that. Let's see, we may need to flip this thing. Not quite yet, but we're getting there. And then another thing I like to do. Add a little weight to it. Let's smash it down some. Uh-oh. Falling apart. No, no, no. Here we go. I'm going to kill it. That smoke you see is that butter burning. Let's go ahead and put this on my plate. Alright, there you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this apart. Now let's go this way. I can't wait. Alrighty, here we go. Mm. Mm. Man, it's so good. Awesome. Um, I love meatloaf sandwiches. Another thing I like to do is I do tuna melts. My wife thinks I'm crazy, but I do tuna melts and I put onions on it. I put tomatoes on it. Uh, maybe I'll do another one of them. Look at that. So good. All right, guys. You need a napkin. Um, excellent. I love this. And I can't wait for us to have tonight's dinner because that means there's more meatloaf over again for me for another sandwich. All right. Well, we're done. That's it. That's my two, my uh, meatloaf sandwich I do. Grilled cheese sandwich, I guess you'd call it. And um, God, I love it. All right. You all have a great day. Thanks for watching. And um, you take it easy. Bye.